Welcome back to iRender. In this video, we're going to talk about the best C4D plugins. Well, there are a lot of plugins for C4D out there, some of them we think are good enough to work on your projects. So we collected them as a list and introduced to you. Let's get started. Number 1, X-Particles. X-Particles is a fully featured advanced particle and VFX system for Maxon's Cinema 4D. Multi-threaded, X-Particles utilizes all of your computer's CPUs whenever possible for speed and efficiency. A unique rule system of questions and actions enables complete control over particle simulations. Number 2, Signal. Signal allows you to instantly create complex animations with intricate loops, realistic noise, additive effects, and all with no keyframes. Signal's drag and drop procedural workflow makes complex animations easy and fun. Just drag any parameter onto the signal tag and start animating. Number 3, Light KIT Pro 3. Light Kit Pro allows you to light up your scene. With this plugin, you can create spotlights, ring lights, and realistic soft boxes. Your scene slash animation will come alive when using Light Kit Pro. The latest update to Light Kit Pro provides a complete and fully customizable lighting solution, providing a variety of realistic lights, panels and softboxes with which to really hone your lighting. It's not only easy to use, but also includes 120 Studio Presents and has built-in support for renderers Octane, Arnold and Redshift. Number 4, Turbulence FD. Turbulence FD's simulation pipeline implements a voxel-based solver based on the incompressible Navier-Stokes equations. That means it uses a voxel grid to describe the volumetric clouds of smoke and fire and solves the equations that describe the motion of fluid on that grid. For each voxel Turbulence FD calculates the velocity of the fluid as well as several channels to describe properties like temperature, smoke density, amount of fuel, etc. This simulation process produces a voxel grid for each frame, which is cached on disk for use by the volumetric renderer.
Number 5. Scroll Roll Deformer Scroll Roll Deformer was designed to help create rolling paper and carpet-like effects, says Daniel Fitzgerald, developer at Curious Animal, but he found it was also a fun way to create sprouting animations. Scroll Roll also turned out to be perfect for growing sprouting objects and growing feathers. By scaling these objects up from nothing as they unroll he was able to transition them on smoothly, but in a much more interesting way than a simple scale. Number 6, Tripogen. Every now and then you find a plugin that doesn't offer a means to a particular end, but inspires you to investigate further nonetheless. Tripogen is one such plugin. It's a generator plugin that lets you take a simple object and create something that combines the best of mathematical-based processes with the random and organic nature of the more playful side of 3D. It's a bit of a niche product, but Tripogen encourages playful experimentation and can actually yield beautiful, if unexpected, results in very little time. Combine that with its compatibility with Emograph, and you have a very useful tool for little cost. Number 7, FumeFX. FumeFX is a powerful fluid dynamics plugin in from Maxon Cinema 4D, designed for simulation and rendering of realistic fire, smoke, explosions, and other gaseous phenomena. Unrivaled in its ability to capture the subtlety and complexity of fluid gas behavior, it is favored among visual effects artists, game developers, visualization professionals, and everyone else who demand the utmost in realism. The latest incarnation of FumeFX offers the artist with unique set of tools that will free the creative mind and minimize tedious tasks even further than before. As a result of the FumeFX core rewrite, a wide range of irregular objects can be used for simulation without the fear of solver instabilities. The newly implemented Conservative Advection GPU Accelerated Cinema 4D Viewport, Faster Simulations, .fxd multithreaded lossy compression are just some of the new features found inside FumeFX 5.0. We hope that you found this video helpful and informative. If you have something to add, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video. I render, happy rendering, happy training.